hi everyone welcome to ksr data vision youtube channel in this video we will cover how to quickly create a dashboard in tableau for completely new users okay now before starting the video let me tell you what is data visualization and why is it important today so data visualization is the graphical representation of information and data so by using let's say visual elements like charts graphs maps you know data visualization tools provide an accessible way to see and understand trends outliers and patterns in data so in the world of big data data visualization tools and technologies are essential to analyze massive amounts of information and data and make data driven decisions right and that's what these tools are being used for today whether it's tableau uh, tableau or uh, power bi or tik view every tool just you know makes it easier for the business users to take certain decisions based on the data right so with that note let us dive into tableau and make a quick dashboard out there i'll be using tableau public which is freely available on tableau website you can download and also experiment on your own right and here i'll just connect to an excel file which is nothing but super store database and which is also available freely on internet just click on this so you can see how easy it is to connect to any data source from tableau right and once you connect to this sheet it will show that we have only one tab in this excel that is called as orders just think of it as a table in a database right so we have selected one table over here and then you can just go to sheet 1 and start building your visualization now moment you click on sheet 1 it will show you all the columns all the columns which are available in your table in this case in our excel tab right now uh, what we'll do is we'll build a dashboard for a business user Now to build a dashboard, dashboard is nothing but a collection of a single sheet or multiple sheets. Now we'll create few sheets over here, which your a business user can really use for certain decisions. Okay. So let us see uh, what we can do is we can first create a sheet, maybe sales by market. Okay. We want to understand by each market what is the sales across all the years. so first we will bring in the years in columns now you'll see that all the available years in our table are displayed here and let's also drag sales over here now you'll see that by default tableau creates a line chart because whenever it's about time tableau takes it as a trend and it displays it in the line form but if you want you can change this into bar chart from here and i changed it into a bar chart now you will see that for 2017 we don't have much data it's almost negligible so we don't want to include this in our analysis so you can filter out this data just drag order date in filters and select the years click next and just unselect this 2017 and click okay now you see that we have data only for 18 19 20 and 21 now introduce the market dimension also in this visualization so very easy way is just select market and drag here in color now you will see that we have each of these sales bar being broken down by markets available in the data source now let's put some labels here so just click on labels and check this box show mark labels now currently it's displaying a very large value i want it to be in thousands let's say 717k over here so what we can do is just right click here some of sales go to format option and here you see two option axis axis corresponds to this one and there's a pane pane will correspond to this one so go to font uh, maybe font we want as arial narrow so just it displays condensed and let's just select eight bold okay now i'll change the type so it should be currency 
there should not be any decimal and display units i want it in thousands so now you will see that it's now being displayed in thousands and the prefix should be dollars it's all in dollars so i'll change it to dollars and now you see this is a bar chart displaying the sales across the available years and across all markets okay and markets legend is being displayed here now this is one sheet you can rename this let's call it as sales by market okay now let's build second sheet uh, let's uh, call it as sales by sub category so we will now pull in sub category over here okay before doing that uh, let's pull year also so i'll pull year over here and then sub category also in rows okay again i don't want 17 to be included in any of the analysis being done so what you can do is there is an option here you just right click this we have already unchecked 17 over here you can select this all using this data source apply to worksheets all using this data source the moment i select this every sheet which uses this data source will unselect 2017 now let's go here and you'll see that 17 is gone right and then let's also drag sales over here and now you'll see that i have horizontal bar chart for all of these sub categories across all years you can just simply sort this by any of the year you want so if you want by 2021 you can click here if you want by 2020 you can click here by 19 you can click here and so on right and let's say this is very repetitive and not essential over here we can just right click here and uncheck this show header over here and this will disappear and let's bring in labels over here also now again i want to format these labels to you know show in thousands and maybe condense them so what i can do is i have already done that thing here so i'll just copy this copy formatting and i'll go here and just paste formatting and now you'll see that i have those neat and nice labels over here and then let's say third i also want to bring in sales by segment okay so when i say sales by segment very simple i'll just drag segment over here and uh, sales okay it will create a bar chart again i'll show labels over here now similar to last step i'll just copy the formatting and again i'll just paste the formatting so my labels are sorted here and uh, other thing which i can do is uh, i'll just right click these header labels and just click on format and this time i'll just choose to uh, here header and you can just change the font maybe to arial narrow okay arial narrow let it be 8 bold and more darker color okay so we have created three sheets over here and now let's create a dashboard over here by default this dashboard size you know you will see always in range but you can always go to fix size um, most times which you will choose this option fix size and in the width you can choose as per your requirement but normally what i choose is 1200 by let's say 900 okay and this is a fairly good size and then just let's drag these sheets it will show you all the available sheets which we have created now drag them one by one so first one i have dragged okay second one when you will drag second one it will highlight in light gray where it will be placed so by just you know exploring these options you can place it i want to place it at the bottom i'll just click i'll just leave my cursor here till this time i'm just holding my cursor now i'll leave it now it's placed over here and the third one i'll just place it here okay and uh, what else you can do maybe uh, i'll just hide these labels i don't need these labels okay hide field labels for columns so just hide them over here over here and over here as well and let's edit this title so let's uh, maybe make it tableau bold 
and uh, 12 font okay make it a bit tidy so tableau bold 12 okay same thing here tableau bold tableau bold 12 okay so this is all done then last thing um, maybe couple of things first one i'll just show the dashboard title just select this option and you can just go here edit title and uh, call it as let's say sales tracking dashboard okay dashboard and select this make it tableau bold make it in center alignment and i'll uh, make it white in color okay white in color because i'll tell you in a moment just go to layout and there's this option called as background i'll select the dark background color over here so this comes up nicely over here and uh, then last thing what i want to do is i want to make this interactive so if i select anything over here it should filter down these two charts also and likewise if i click here it should filter down these two uh, charts as well so for that this is very simple just click on one sheet and click on this option use as filter same thing you do it here click on users filter and same thing you click here users filter so now these will be interactive in nature and last thing if you want to uh, like uh, create border of these sheets you can do it just select uh, this sheet and in the layout you have this option called as border you can select border as per your style requirement okay same thing you can do here go to border and click on the border and same thing you can do it here also just select the border okay now everything is set up and uh, you just need to click on presentation mode and now you will see that you have a nice looking dashboard sales tracking dashboard over here and it's very interactive as well so if you click on this home office you will see that it has filtered this sales by subcategory and sales by market as well also if let's say if i click on you this market the pack now you see that it has filtered this right now it's showing 2021 only because this is selected for only 2021 now if you want you can do multiple selections here right so i have selected a pack market for all the years now i have uh, the corresponding subcategories being selected here and likewise here also and whenever you want to deselect just click on the white area so you will have the original selection over here right so you can see the power of the tool like how we can really capitalize on the trends on the patterns or on any revelations you know from the data which clearly you can see over here right so so this was the introductory video on Tableau showcasing the steps to quickly build a dashboard. We will dive in more and more into the concepts required to master Tableau in subsequent videos. So stay tuned and for more information, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.